What's up everybody, it's Chase. I'm here this afternoon. I've got something uh, I've been wanting to do for a while here. And uh, I've been wanting to do this boat walk around uh, video. When we were in the market for, uh, for Phoenix, uh, we had a hard time finding, you know, any decent footage, um, you know, online, you know, good walkthrough and, and layout and kind of showing, showing everything about the boat. So I'm going to do the best I can here today to try to really show you guys what this boat's all about and uh, kind of show you how it's laid out and, and all the ins and outs of it. So stay with me and we'll get to it. All right, y'all, so this is a 2019 Phoenix 721 Pro XP. It does have the uh, Mercury 250 Pro XS four stroke on it. We're gonna kind of start back here at the back and uh, show y'all what we got going on back here. So we're running the Atlas 10 inch hydraulic jack plate that's a first for us and uh we're really liking it so far it's it's a pretty pretty awesome add on um so this motor 250 pro xs four strokes it comes with the fury 24 pitch three blade prop and so far i mean i don't see a need to change it um you know, we've had this boat up to, you know, mid-70s, and, uh, you know, that's plenty for us, so we're pretty happy with that. All right, so moving on up on the boat here, um, we're running the Humminbird uh, Helix 9s. Got one here at the console, and we're also running the same unit up on the front here. We're running the Minn Kota Ultrex 112, awesome trolling motor. Um, you, you know, if you do a lot of offshore fishing or fishing in current, uh, this is the trolling motor for you. It's really, it's really worth the money. So the Phoenix trailers, in my opinion, are they're very well built. Um, you can get them with the paint over gator hide, which is it's kind of like Rhino liner, super super durable and it's easy to clean we did get the trick step um, which is a very nice add-on in my opinion it's got the f2 winch and jack uh, swing tongue these trailers are are lit up very well at night um, you see we got the phoenix logo right there on the step and uh, velocity wheels in the back back here you know all these are led so they're super bright at night time you know you can see this thing very well going down the highway in the dark so that's a big plus and it makes it easy backing up at night too it really lights up what's behind you you can see really well all right so moving on up here into the boat um you've got a massive rear deck on this boat a lot bigger than most in my opinion I'm gonna kind of show you, you know, how we've got the boat laid out, you know, and, and where what we've got where. Um, so right here, you know, we've got a lot of bait back here, line and, you know, weights, hooks, spoons, jigs. We got, you know, most of our heavy stuff back here, spare reels. Um, we tried to put most of our weight in the back if we could. Over here, we've got all our personal items, I guess you would say, minus the spinner baits. Um, we got sunscreen and snacks, you know, Tylenol, Advil, contact solution, whatever you may need there. And these these lockers are huge. Um, you know, you could store a ton more stuff in these lockers. live wells huge live wells on the phoenix um i mean the thing is just absolutely massive i forget how many gallons they are but you could easily put whatever you want to in there as, as far as bass goes i mean 
you won't catch a, a limit of bass you can't fit in there. So back here, show you all this. Very nice and clean uh, compartment back here where all your batteries are at. We got our toolbox right there. It's got our tools. It's got two of these trays. They do pop out. Um, you got all your batteries there. There's a uh, spot to put a spare prop and all that. So there's your onboard charger over there it's just super clean real nice it's easy to get to from outside the boat and inside really so so moving on up to more of the business end of the boat uh, phoenix seats top notch they're kind of like bucket seats in my opinion i mean in rough water they really hold you in super comfortable so you can't beat that you got a nice center storage here you can fit plenty of stuff in there. We just got some junk in there now, but console. Love the console. It's uh, you know, real real small and compact. I'm, I love that. Um, you know, it's all one piece, so you don't have wires hanging down all on the underside. It's all one enclosed capsule. We are running the T and H Marine hot foot uh, you've got your uh, motor trim there and your hydraulic jack plate there dash your gauges uh, right here you've got your uh, your fuel voltage water pressure and trim and on the other side you just got your rpms it does have the Mercury Smartcraft gauge and the Atlas uh, gauge right there. As far as the uh, switch panel goes, I'm a big fan of it. I really like the way they've got this thing laid out. Um, you know, and it's super simple, so you can keep extra parts in the boat, uh, extra switches for it. So if you have one go out, you know, it's a two or three dollar, you know, maybe a five dollar fix. That's where on some of your other boats, it's one, you know, big digital cluster. And, you know, if you have something go bad, you got to replace the whole panel, which can get pretty expensive. So really like that. You get all kinds of neat uh, features with the Phoenix. You know, right here is a little tie up cleat just pops out so you know, if you're by yourself you don't even have to get up to tie your boat off you got a little tray right here to put you know cell phone whatever you want to put there cup holder something i forgot to mention too on the center console or compartment you've got two cup holders and you've got four spots for pliers so definitely not going to run short on plier storage in this boat you can put all the pliers you want to in here so right here's the cooler it is a smaller cooler but you can fit plenty in there i mean we probably got uh nine waters coke body armor a little frog talk chili pad in there and it's not even halfway full so you got tons of room there Right here, these little compartments are nice. That's where we've got all our dip dies and, and uh, spike it markers. And we've been using this as our, kind of our junk drawer, you know, as we cut baits off, instead of piling them all up in the floor, you just throw them in this tray and clean it out in the evening when you get home, so that's pretty nice. Another neat feature is the, the in floor net storage. And you can fit a pretty big net in there. I will tell you from experience, if you've got the uh, Ego model net that has the extendable handle, it will not fit in there. Um, so, you know, you probably have to get on Phoenix's website and order one of the nets that they offer that, that's, you know, made to fit in there perfectly. So I've got this uh, rod laid out here on the front deck. It's a KVD. Uh, crankbait rod 710 and I've just got it laid up here to, to kind of show you guys you know 
that, that's the biggest rod we have and uh, I've got it pretty much about as far as you will ever put one up to the front and um, it's hanging off the back probably I don't know 10 inches or so so I mean it's, it's not bad I mean it's it's not as bad as it may look or seem so the rod lockers and all these compartments are are lit you know in, at night early in the morning whatever we've got probably close to 20 or 25 rods in there I mean it is full but you could cram more in there I mean you got this little cactus uh, you know holder back here in the back and then you've got the tubes up here in the front but you could take those out and, and probably squeeze a lot more a lot more rods in there but we're leaving them in for for the time being you've also got a got a rod locker here on the side or you know storage locker whatever you really want to do with it but um, you can put rods in there we've actually just got our plug knocker in there and our scale so you got a ton of room in here you know to put extra extra bait you know dry clothes whatever it's a pretty nice little compartment I really like that and you got a rod strap there also this other side right now we've just got spinning rods in it um, I mean it's the same you know same size as the as the other side it just doesn't have the rod tubes in it so you can you know you can do whatever you want to do with this side also moving on up the very front you got two I'm sitting on one here this is the very front locker and um, this thing is huge it goes way up under there all the way to those uh, seat post holes and I've got two spare life jackets up in here there's our life jackets we use a couple safe faces in there that's just you know all our lightweight stuff to the very front here is my favorite part about this boat and it's the, the main tackle locker and it is a beast um, it's laid out very well we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Twelve Plano boxes in there. And we've also got <clears throat> six of the Plano KVD speed bags in here. That's got all our plastics and stuff. You know, there's another bag of plastics there. Um, you can fit just tons of stuff in there. There's my little box for my tungsten weights and hooks. Um, this locker is actually where your your fish rulers at so you can measure your dinks um, I put these here just so you guys could see you got little little bait clips right there so if you're in a tournament you got certain baits you're gonna be throwing that day you can you can hang them all up right there you've pretty much got the same thing here too you know for crank baits or spinner baits topwaters I got a hair jig hanging there for now just so you guys can see so that's real nice um, another thing I love about this compartment is the Phoenix uh, snake light here this thing pops out and uh, you know if you're tying on early in the morning or late in the evening you know in the dark whatever you can move this thing wherever you want it and uh, very bright and then it just goes right back down in here and stores nicely in this little spot so it's out of the way nice and clean and it's a very helpful helpful feature did uh, I did measure some dimensions for you guys just so you know if you're looking at the 721 it kind of gives you a little bit better idea you know something to compare it to um, so I took a measurement from the back of the uh, trolling motor pedal right here across the front deck, not across the outside of the boat, just carpet width. Um, so right there, you're 50 inches. Um, and then back here at the very back of the front deck, 
you are 75 and a half inches right there and then the deck length from here to the very front of the carpet you're 87 and a half inches um, you know so it's a it's a good size front deck plenty of room up there you know we fish two people to the front all the time and we don't ever have any issues with it so we're really liking it got your recessed tray up here for your trolling motor pedal cup holder up here and uh, you got your trim and your light switches right there also so I did take another measurement for you guys um, if you get the trick steps the you can see right there you can see where the pin is on the swing tongue trick step actually sticks out further than the swing tongue so you know if you're really you know crunching inches on fitting this boat in your garage or something and you're looking at the trick step let it be known that this does stick out further than anything on the front with the with the tongue you know collapsed so i pulled a dimension um from the from the outermost point here to let me walk back here and show you and I pulled this you know measurement with the motor trimmed down and it was to this point right here which is the outermost point on the motor and it's 24 foot 1 inch from what you know I could measure so that's just a something helpful for you guys looking at going with the trick step so guys that's pretty much it um, I tried to be as thorough as I possibly could, you know, and kind of really show y'all everything and, uh, you know, kind of show y'all how we've got the boat laid out. I hope this helps some of y'all out, you know, that are looking to get in a Phoenix, especially the 721. Um, you know, just to touch base on a few other details, you know, a lot of people, the first question they ask is, how does the Phoenix ride in rough water? And my answer to that is amazing. Um, we actually had a champion at one point in time and uh, my personal opinion this thing outrides the champion um, you know any day of the week it's faster than the champion it handles better and uh, it takes rough water better and those of you that know champion is one of the best rough water boats ever made so you know those of you that are that are looking to get in a good riding boat um, or even those of you that are looking for a fast boat, you know, uh, this is this is the boat for you. This is the ultimate, in my opinion, the ultimate bass fishing rig, and uh, it's really it's, it was our dream boat, and uh, we're we're blessed and thankful we could get into it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you got any questions or uh, you know comments, leave them in the in the section down below. I'll be glad to answer any of y'all's questions. If you would like for me to, you know, show, you know, certain details about the boat, if you got questions about certain compartments or whatever, let me know. I'll be glad to pull those for you. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank y'all for watching. We'll see you next time.